I walked into the small town of West Cape May today to investigate this local phenomenon that everyone is talking about, even though a lot of it was mysteriously taken down last week from Wilbraham Park, leaving only small stitches in some areas. I still managed to spot some of the beautiful rare art that many are anxious to see. Salty Knits is made up of four anonymous, very talented knitters. They have been called the Midnight Knitters, Mystery Knitters, Gorilla Knitters, Knit Bombers, Yarn Bombers, Knitting Fairies, Fiber Artists, Making Little sweaters, jumpers, cozies, snuggies, knit graffiti, urban knits. They have received attention from every major paper and local television station in our area, as well as news making it around the world as far as Australia. On Monday, this small group of knitters had 3,000 fans on their Facebook page, and now, Thursday, have over 4,500 fans, and as of yesterday, have reported 18,500 hits to their website. Wow! I walked into the West Cape May CVS today and within two minutes heard locals talking about the fantastic colorful yarn art while putting out their pictures of what else but Salty Knit's latest creations. I headed over to see the mermaid's latest attire at the Flying Fish Studio and then over to the Higher Grounds Coffee House where more locals were talking about the recent additions. The little monster in the garden was so cute I was envious that I didn't have one in my town and the intricate flowers and vines were so perfect and divine. This is bringing the community together I hope that we can find a way to give thanks to these angels of the rainbow for cheering up such a dreary winter and bringing excitement into the community. I was assured by Salty Knits that more work will be coming this week and I can't wait to see them. Stay tuned. I'm lucky!